Hey guys, welcome to LEGO The Lord of the Rings. I'm the Clean Up P-Guy and in this episode we are going to be going to Bree and get started by making some Mithril stuff and then we're going to go through um, the first half of the Fellowship of the Ring getting all the mini kits and objects that we can get there. So it's going to be pretty fun. Um, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit again if I can because, um, well, I need to make some stuff. This I'm going to slow down just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm getting. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, don't worry, I'm gonna speed ahead the, uh, oh, what is it? I'm gonna speed ahead the making of each one. Anyways, I'm gonna try and go through some important things. Um, the bristle sword isn't as important as the mithril rope. I'll just name a few things that you want to get. Um, I sped this up just so you can, um, don't get bored of this. But anyways, you need the mithril rope, a bow and arrow, some kind of axe, if you can find one, and I would say the boxing gloves. Um, the Mithril boxing gloves. Uh, and any addition that you would like to add, like a the the bottomless bucket that they have, that's a good one. Um, I'm th trying to think if there's anything else. If you wanted to get the spring boots, you definitely could because it's, it can be helpful. Um, the tome, I would say not so much. That I, I don't know if it's the tome or tome tomb or whatever. Um, this is a Mithril cluster bow. I don't exactly know that it's better, but it definitely has. I guess probably more punch to it because it's got, you shoot three arrows at one time. That's pretty cool. Um, the mithril rope is just a uh, rope that anybody can use really. It's just pretty good for that kind of thing. Um, the main reason I would ask you to get the boxing gloves, well, the main reason I would suggest you guys get the boxing gloves is because there is a level uh, way later that it would be good to have boxing gloves. Just saying. Um, so if uh, oh, and then at this point where I'm at right now, I can't actually make an axe because I don't have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the Mithril Boxing Gloves. And this, I'm, I was trying to debate whether I had enough for the Spring Boots and the Bottomless Bucket because there's like 16 Mithril Bricks for those, I think. I still think it's weird. You shove like 20 Bricks in this thing and he only comes out with a one stud. One by one. You're like, what the heck? Anyways, these Boxing Gloves are good because... Or the... The Mithril Boxing Gloves are good because they're super strength uh, enhancers, so any character can become super strong. Um, that's the main reason I would get one of those. Anyways, that's 16 bricks. 16 bricks! He shoves it into the fire. You press it down. Come on, Sam, press it down. You press it down, and then he pulls out this little tiny- What the heck?! It's like it all condensed. Alright, and this is the Bottomless Bucket. And if you want to know what the Bottomless Bucket does, it's it actually never empties. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, I actually use that a couple times. Sometimes it's hard to figure out how you're going to use that, but it's actually pretty sweet. Uh, anyways, here's the spring boots. Another 16. I only get two left. Only two. But still, I think it's so weird. You press down on the fire thing after he dumps in like 16 bricks, and he still pulls out the... What the heck? It's weird. It's just wrong. Anyways, the spring boots. These are pretty cool. Uh, they look pretty cool, actually. If, you, uh, if you've if you played Legend of Zelda, uh, Ocarina of Time, or seen an LP for it or whatever, it looks a lot like the uh, boots that you get. The f I don't know if they're called the floating boots or what, but anyways, um, there's the cluster bow. It seems like it works pretty fast. Um, anyways, those are the boots. They help you jump super high. Anyways, um, I'll probably show it out here when I get out, just to show it off really fast. Anyways, that was a lot faster than I expected it to be. Probably because it took so long when I was actually doing it. Oh my gosh. Anyways, here we go. We're going to go to the prologue. Sweet. Um, you want to click free play because it will automatically put you on free play, but you want to go to um, story mode. Or not story mode. You want to. It will automatically put you on story mode. You want to go to free play. I'm trying to get out my bow right here, so I'm going to die <laughs> because I can't attack with the bow. Anyways, if you see in the distance, there's these three towers that you want to hit with your cluster bow or whatever bow you guys got. Um, you'll get a one of three, and then with the other two, you get a two of three, and then a three of three. Um, you want to hit those because they will give you a mini kit, surprisingly enough. Anyways, uh, fighting all these dudes off, uh, I'm going to come over here. And the, actually, the Mithril Trowel digs up a lot faster than a regular Trowel. So I would suggest if there's anything to dig up, use the Mithril Trowel. If not, just become Sam. It's just, he's one of the most rounded characters. Anyways, this is really sped up because of the fact that it's basically just regular parts of the level. Um, just trying to do stuff. Um, just kind of to give you an idea of how you have to do stuff. Um, a lot of times, if you have missed a mini kit going through the first time, you can come back, get the mini kit or the item, or the, uh, 
whatever it is, I, even like the design, you can come back and then you can um, press uh, the, well, for the Wii version you can press plus and then go to the uh, quit to Middle Earth and then press save and exit kind of thing. You can skip the cutscenes by pressing plus and then C on the Wii remote. Um, uh, I'm going to change the Berserker here pretty fast because there's this uh, silver stuff you need to blow up. Berserker can blow up practically everything, and he can blow up the silver objects, but he cannot blow up the, um, what is it? The, the, uh, Sauron stuff. Uh, anyways, it doesn't seem like the bad guys in levels attack you. Um, you can press Z there on that thing. I'm just trying to make it out. Just trying to make it visible for you, um, because you can't really see it. Like, you can't really tell what the heck it is, but over here there's this thing, and what is it? What could it be? It's an elven sword. Somehow I put it over the top of my explosives? Okay. Um, major glitches with the berserker for some reason. When he picks up items, it seems very glitchy. Um, I don't know what it is. Anyways, here we go. Um, he, they actually, for some reason, the graphics decided to work with me and it actually shot it correctly. But this fight took me so long. I could not, for some reason, hit his little staff tack thingy for some reason like even though i have the same sword as the main guy my sword was not working even though i had the same sword kind of weird anyways i loved running through his legs though it was kind of fun oh there we got second heart now this third heart takes the longest oh my gosh anyways um basically you'll have to go through and you'll get three items that's what the box is you've probably seen if you walk through my uh or if you watch my other levels or if you just played it on your own kind of thing um you got um, three other items you got to pick up, and then you've got the the what is it? It's the design, and then the ten mini kits along with get, trying to get 100% on certain levels. And um, I don't exactly on most of the levels I get 100%. I have one level that I still haven't got 100% on. Um, I'm because I well I mean I've already pre-done these levels. This is taking forever. Oh my gosh, it felt long in the what the. You're not supposed to, like, all of a sudden come out of it just because you feel like it. Jeez. Wow, this is taking forever. And this is sped up 300. So this is, like, three times the length it was in the actual... What? Oh, you got to be kidding me. That's insane! Die, you idiot. Die. Die, man. Die. There we go, finally. Gosh. All right, now, you guys are all probably dying to know what's inside this, um... Oh, it glitched on me there. No, it didn't glitch on me. That was my computer almost, or my uh, game almost froze up. Anyways, um, I kind of didn't follow my own advice here. Kind of digging slow with uh, Sam here. Anyways, you get this magma, yeah, magma armor. Uh, reference to Super Mario Galaxy, much. Anyways, um, yeah, you're probably still dying to know what's inside here. Um, there's actually a couple dwarves you can do, uh, or a couple dwarves you can get in this game. You can get Gimli, and then you can get his father, Gloin. Anyways, in here, why is Aragorn walking so slow? Anyways, in here you can um, do multiple things. Um, as you can see, there's that statue with the, um, what was it? The Mordor stuff on it. Um, over here, we've got a Z handle. So you just pull the Z handle. And inside here, we get another thing of armor. Awesome. And this is just shimmering armor. Um, I sped that up a little bit just because it was I just needed speeding up. Anyways, there we got the design inside that little hovel there. This place is just really kind of long, so I decided to speed it up. You cannot actually, if you see the breaking thing, for some reason on the Wii version, I don't know if you can do this on the PS3 or the Xbox version, but on the Wii version, for some reason, I just cannot blow it up. I don't know why. I just have never been able to blow it up. I even get up close, and I still can't blow it up. Gimli bounces up and down, waiting for you to throw him, and he just can't blow it up it's weird anyways you can jump it around it however yeah you can jump around it however which is a good thing because if you couldn't jump around it i fail there if you couldn't jump around it you have no way of getting this uh next mini kit anyways i wanted to just show this off really fast um, as you can see i'm pressing b and gimli is doing absolutely nothing to that wall so i decided to jump around it you can't even hit it from behind you, you can't even jump an attack it's stupid anyways um, that's the one problem I have with this game, is that there's glitches. And that's not like every game's not going to have glitches, it's just that, for some reason, this game seems to have more glitches than even LEGO Batman 2 did. Um, so I guess it seems like they kind of rushed this game a little bit. Anyways, here we got the mini kit. 
So you can jump over the lava and get some coin over here if you want to. It's not much coin, but anyways, uh, I'm going to try and throw Gimli at it a couple more times just to see if I can get a targeting range on it, but I really can't. It's not one of those things I can get a targeting range on it for. Anyways, so now we're going to leave. There we go. And now you can just go about the level uh, normally. I'm just hopping around. Um, well, of course, you're going to have to go get some more mini kits and whatnot. But anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to have to be Aragorn here, blow this all up. Um, actually, something kind of interesting. If you go back as a Sildor uh, in free play, um, pick up Gimli and throw him at this thing. If you go back as a Sildor in free play, he actually has the cut off knife, or cut off sword, excuse me, the sword that's like basically a knife. Uh, Anyways, um, what you want to do for this next thing is you actually want to shoot an arrow at it. As you can see, there's a little target up there. I wanted to make sure I couldn't blow that up or anything like that and get something out of it. But anyways, uh, let's shoot that. And there we go. And then if you stand in the middle, you actually don't get hurt, even though fire is blown out and around you. And then there's a mini kit. Awesome. Uh, I like how all the pieces just like hop everywhere. And then the, like, the treasure chest top is like, I just kicked it away. Anyways, there we go. Awesome. Uh, now, I totally spaced this one thing over here next to me. Um, wow, you seriously don't have Sam out? Jeez. Uh, we're going to get the Mithril... Uh, what is it? Mithril rope. My bad. And we're going to see if we can get this thing over here. I totally spaced that statue of Sauron next to me. Totally spaced it. Uh, anyways, there we go totally space it and jump right over it but I come back and get it before the uh, levels out anyways um, what you really want to do over here is you want to um, oh, you want to turn into a character with some kind of light Gandalf works um, I actually realized Frodo's light is actually a lot better than whoa dang it uh, Frodo's light is actually a lot better than Gandalf so I'm actually kind of worried about my footage for the Shilo uh, level but I think it should be fine. Anyways, I get this one and I'm like, oh wait, I think I have one missing somewhere. Because I thought I should have three by now. Because I've got two of five. So then I decide, oh, I'm going to go back. I can't go back there because I got stuff. So then I'm like dying in the lava. Oh, I only died once. Okay. And then I died three or four times. Anyways, here's the uh, third statue. And then we blow up all this stuff so the game we can get across. Uh, I want to make sure there's no other statues that I missed. I'm like, ah, there's no statues down there except that one that was hidden. Anyways, coming up here, um, turn into an elf. You can push that. We already got this. The if you blow that up uh, with uh, what is the name? Aragorn sword. You can get in there and get a mini kit. But I already did that on the regular part of the level, so I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, come over here, turn into a berserker, and I got a sword. No, I don't. I don't have anything. I'm just like throwing stuff everywhere. Wow, it takes a moment. Oh, it's because of the shimmering armor. Okay. Um, I was like trying to figure out why it took him so long to try and hurt me. But it's because of the shimmering armor. Anyways, blow that up. Uh, you get a little... What is that? It's a little hobbit hole, I guess you could say. Anyways, we're going to come over here, and Gimli's going to go into the hobbit hole. There we go. Anyways, climbing to the, or getting to the top of this, there is a silver, a blue, and a purple stud, along with a mini kit. So I'm supposing that a mini kit is higher ranking in studs than um, the purple stud. Although, it should be like a... Why did I do that? There we go. There's your one. Anyways, it should be like a... Uh, I wonder if they could make a stud higher than a purple that was like 100,000 that you could get. That'd be kind of fun. Although, that'd be kind of cool if it was like a greenish purple. Or greenish, like a greenish blue. Anyways, there's our mini kit there. And we have two more to go. Let's see. We have one in here, right there, and then there, what? Oh, okay, we had nine, I'm, I'm, my bad. Anyways, then we can quit to Middle Earth, save and exit. Awesome. Oh, we have everything, I was just making sure that we did. I always like to make sure before I leave a level. Before I leave a level. Anyways, um, yeah, as you can tell, I got quite a bit of money and it's it gets... Uh, pretty soon it'll get over to uh, 2 million, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, I think it gets over to... Nope, doesn't quite yet there. Anyways, we got an Elven Sword, Magma Armor, and Shimmering Armor. Nice. Blacksmith Design Unlocked, Mithril Shockwave ha Axe. Cool. I would suggest before you go into the next level, um, making that, because you don't want to forget it later, and it's just a good item to have. Anyways, so I'm just going to show this off really fast. Me going to Bree. 
uh, I'm gonna make the axe. The shockwave axe, actually. Um, for some reason, I wanted to call it a shockwave hammer, probably because of Ocarina of Time with the whole, uh, what is that? It's the Megaton hammer or whatever. For some reason, I wanted to call it the sh shockwave axe, or hammer. Anyways, it's shockwave axe. Um, wow, I had four, and now I only have one. Right? No, maybe I had five. I think I had five. Five mithril bricks, so it took four mithril bricks. And it's still tiny. Anyways, here we go. We got the mithril axe. Shockwave axe. Awesome. There we go. And then, I don't know why they show you this lineup, because it doesn't really help, uh, help you know where it is. It's kind of weird. Anyways, here we go. We're going to go to the Black Rider. Awesome. Um, I don't have very many but I don't have very many characters to pick from, so it's kind of hard um, to decide who I'm gonna pick. Um, with a lot more characters, I guess it is more hard. But you always have a favorite once you uh, work really hard. But I really like the Berserker. I don't know why. Uh, anyways, coming over here, as you can see, the Urukai has super strength because he can pull this away. And down the hole here, there is a. It's kind of a weird mini kit, but it's kind of interesting at the same time. Um. Basically what it is, is you have to do five different things, I think it is, to, uh, what is it? It's like, you have to do several different things to try and get, um, there's like a root in my way. Oh well. Um, you have to do several different things to get this mole to stop pestering you so you can get a mini kit from him. It's kind of interesting. Um, I was trying to get that purple coin, um, but then I'm like, you know what, it doesn't matter. Once I couldn't shoot it with my, the web with my bow and get up there, I was like, ah, you know what, it doesn't matter. So I just decided to grab the rope. Come on. There we go. Anyways, you just grab the... What am I doing? I'm trying to see if it'll stay down, but it won't. Anyways, if as soon as that comes down, basically your chance of getting the purple coin are gone. But anyways, um, there's several things you can do here really fast. Um, if you want to light this on fire as Sam... Come on. Light it on fire. There we go. Uh, yeah, I like Sam. He's fun. Anyways, uh, come shoot this with your bow. He's gonna be in there. Um, jump up here. Come in sh over there. Whoa, I think I almost fell. There's a mini kit up here, which is actually really nice. They kind of hit it. Kind of, sort of. Not really, but they kind of hit it within another mini kit that you can get. Anyways, uh, let's see. No Gimli? Wow. They never put Gimli on that wheel. Or, well, sometimes they do, but not very often. Anyways, smack this down and you can hide that spot. And then, um, what am I doing? Why am I... I need to be... There we go. Anyways, come in here, and you can scare the mole away. And then the mole should come up over... Where? Over here. Right? Yep, there he is. There we go. And that's a mole, actually, if you guys wanted to know. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, that's a mole. Anyways, there we go. We got five. Awesome. And I'm going to be... Who am I going to be? I'm going to be Haldir, I think. Yeah, I'm going to be Haldir. Um, this is Haldir, if you haven't seen him before. Um, I haven't played as him yet, I don't think. Anyways, um, again, this is the sneaky level, so we kind of you got to be kind of cautious and try and... I wanted to see if you could actually hit him with the bow. It would have been kind of fun if you could, but um, I didn't think you could. Anyways, Sam here. Um, digging up stuff, again, it would be a lot quicker with the Mithril. I don't know why the heck I threw it at that plant. I didn't want to throw it at the plant, but I did because the game was being all weird on me. Anyways, I'm going over here. I get the blue coin because the blue coin is always nice to have. Um, in there, you can get blue coin. Then over here, there we go, and shine a light. Um, you can actually come over here this way, and if you didn't know, there's a little path off to the side. Um, you're blocked by, what is this? By Aragorn stuff that he needs to blow up. And then you can build something here, which you can't really see, but it's a—it's like a scarecrow ring wraith, and that mole is scaring me. Uh, anyways, there's a hat there. There's a random hat there. Anyways, that's a sailor cap, I think it said. And yeah, there's basically it's like a scarecrow ring wraith thing. It's kind of weird. Anyways, uh, now we just go through the main part of the level just as normal. Uh, anyways, let's see, Sam. Go in the hole, the hobbit hole, and then there we go. Uh, I'm just swapping over so it's faster. Uh, anyways, and then you gotta get the berserker uh, because there's actually silver objects over there you can blow up. Awesome sauce. 
And there we go, mini kit, awesome. Um, now, if you guys remember that dark hovel I was talking about the first time I went through this uh, this level, um, this we're actually gonna get now get a chance to see what's in here. It is a what is it? It's a soup pot, awesome. And then Gandalf's hair exchanges for the soup pot, so he wears the soup pot on his head, and he can even roll with it, and he doesn't spill soup. How amazing is that? Anyways, uh, coming over here, we're gonna plant some stuff. Um, I think if you have the trowel, actually I know for a fact if you have the trowel you can plant stuff. I don't know how you become that knowledgeable all of a sudden when you have a trowel, but evidently there's the power of holding a trowel in your hands. Um, anyways, fighting uh, this wizard guy, Saruman, as Gandalf. I just like getting this out of the way just because it kind of helps um, just getting it out of the way so you don't have to worry about going through the other part of the level and stuff like that. Anyways, um... If you actually stand still, the, the shield will help you, um, but you have to be able to uh, stop every once in a while and just do stuff with it, or whatever, I guess, I don't know, how do you want to say it, but if you just hold still, it'll just protect you, uh, but then you want to take it off just before he starts doing the um, whole, what is it, the lightning strikes in the floor thingy. There we go. Um, anyways, I was trying to throw him at the window in time for... Well, not for the third one, but anyways. Now we're just going to go through the level as normally on this one. I think it's kind of nice that uh, Sam has... Or, or, excuse me, that everybody has their equipment that they've gotten from, like, the elves and stuff, where Frodo has, like, his... Uh, what is it? Oh, if you shoot that, you get a one of five. I actually couldn't see that the first couple of times I was playing this game, uh, trying to do this uh, level. Couldn't see that. Um, I still can't really see what the heck it is supposed to be. But anyways, um, you throw it at that, and you get him distracted. There's two of them over there. You can hit one, but you can't really hit the other one. Uh, anyway, so you just go through the level about normally, and then once you get on the log, you can uh, get what you need, really. Um, I can't get it there either, so... Magic of Sam and his trowel! Awesome. Uh, anyways, coming over here, we're going to try and see if we can get it. No, we still can't get it. So we're going to come get the coin. <laughs> and then you want to kind of head to the uh, far side of the log, kind of, and there you go. Awesome. Uh, you hit the bushes, of course, unfortunately. Um, now what you really want to do is, I'm going to clear out all the bushes so you can kind of see it. Um, I should have sped this up, but oh well, who cares. Um, anyways, you want to clear the, oh, I'm going to clear the bushes, but what you want to do is you want to turn into uh, some kind of dwarf, either um, Gloin or Gimli, and then you want to blow this up, or you can just get an axe. Um, I have a shockwave, I just haven't used it yet. Anyways, and inside there is your seventh mini kit if you've been following along just the same as I have been uh, working on the mini kits. Anyways, um, you can fish with Gollum in here. I just never done it before, so I decided to do it. Um, as you saw, well, you may have seen, um, I did the A right there. Um, I can actually do the A a little bit better than I think than I can do the other other ones. Um, coming over here is really not much, just coin. I wanted to make sure. Anyways, and then coming up here. You can blow this up, as I've said before, and then this, we're going to actually get a chance to do the stuff that's over here. So, let's see. We need Sam or the Mithril Rope, and I think I end up... Yeah, I, I do Sam, because Sam is just easier to get. Uh, inside this one, there is the Blacksmith Design. Uh, let's see what's there. There we go. Yank. There we go. Um, I don't know how this works, but Aragorn is the only person that can uh, do this Ranger following stuff, but... I'm trying to figure out how the heck does he follow stuff in water, because water cuts the scent of stuff, uh, so I'm trying to figure out how he does that. It's kind of weird. Anyways, uh, if he gets to a certain point, he can't jump, and so it's kind of bothersome around that ledge there. I think that's kind of at the point where he can't jump. Anyways, um, they lead you quite a ways away uh, from, from where you were before, as you can see in the distance where the waterfall was. Um, you can't exactly go out there because the, the light from the ring wraith is there. So you kind of just have to work your way through the level as much as possible. Again, digging up would be so much faster with the Mithril Trowel. I just decided not to use it for some weird random reason. Anyways, just kind of go through the level and get it there. There we go, like that. And then it's going to interrupt you there. Okay. Now, follow this trail to the green spot. Wait for him to dig. And then something will pop up. And it's a... Mushroom crown. Awesome. So we got our third item, and Aragorn looks stylish in his mushroom crown. Nice. Uh, anyways, let's see. We got two items here we can hit. One there, and one there. Awesome. So that's our eighth. Now we need Gollum, and he's going to climb this wall here. Come on, Gollum. 
There we go. Got that wall. Um, I like how he glitches through the, the tree. You're like, what the heck? Anyways, uh, let's see. We're going to be Legolas, and we're going to hit the crow. The last one is actually on this path here. You just want to stay to the... What is that? It's the right of the screen. Um, should be your guys' right of the screen, too. I don't think there's a difference between right or left of the screen. But anyways, um, just kind of stay there as much as possible. And there you go. There's the 10th minikit. All right. If you followed along pretty much exactly, you should have gotten everything else. So, save and exit. There we go. Anyways, there we go. We got over 2 million studs. That's awesome. And we got all 10 minikits. Now, if you wanted to know, this is actually Bree. Uh, I'm trying to think what the last one was. Uh, oh, it was Sauron's. It was like a bust of Sauron. It was kind of interesting. Um, I thought that was kind of cool that they decided to do that. Anyways, Blacksmith Design, Mithril, Music Horn. Awesome. And so we got two, three. So, we, so now we have four Mithril Bricks. Awesome. Alright, so now we're moving on to Weathertop. Um, I'm, Tho I'm Theoden. Okay, so this one has a little problems, a few problems that I had, because I was missing a treasure item after the first time I went through, and I was missing a mini kit. And that is only because for this version, I don't know what it is, but I can't see a thing. I mean, I, I on my TV, I have it, like, brighter than I had before, and I still can't see a thing in this game. I can see stuff in LEGO Batman, like, no problem, but I can't see a thing. Okay, so you hit that target there, and what happens is it brings up a duck. You just wait for the duck to come to the shore, and you can... Oh, I brightened up the my capture card, too, just so you guys know. Um, for some reason, it puts it as the four of three. I don't know why, but for some reason, when it does that, it, like, doesn't register as though I've got it. I showed you guys how to get it. Make sure you get it on their first go-about, and don't... I'll try and show you what I did, or I'll try and tell you what I did when we get there, but... I, basically, okay, I'll try and explain it right now, actually. Okay, basically what I did was I went through the first time. I didn't have all the items, so I decided to go back. So I pressed... Uh, I pressed... What is it? It's like... Can't, uh, exit with now saving kind of thing and unfortunately I'd gotten into the next the third stage so it had, it had done two checkpoints already so I couldn't get the duck but for some reason when I like was in that last section there's a treasure item you can get there and I got the treasure item again even though it registered I'd already gotten it and it put it as number three so I mean I had the other other one as well so I had three treasure items, but I only had collected two. It's kind of weird. And so now, every time I get this duck, I can't do it. So um, I'm thinking that'll probably mess up this um, this file for getting 100%. But I will show you guys the 100% um, like the 100% thing. I don't even know why the heck I didn't decide to pick it up. I mean, it was right there. It was shining and whatever and whatnot. But I decided not to get it. I don't know why. But anyways... So, I will show you guys with my other file what the duck does. So, if I, you get, like, a something that looks completely different, like, in wise of, like, how many people I have or whatever, studs or whatever, it's because I'm going to the other file just to show you what that duck does. Anyways. Anyways, we're building here. And I don't know what it is, but for some reason, like I said, I can't see. Or, like, I'm totally, like, blind beyond a certain barrier of my screen or something. I just, like, totally spaced the duck. I don't know how that was. Uh, and then, uh, after this, you grow a plant, um, of some kind. Um, you can hit that if you haven't gotten it already. Uh, growing this, you get kicked back. But anyways, at the top of this, there is a vine or something you can grab onto. And I totally didn't see it the first time I did this. And so, it was like, I couldn't find it. I was like, where is that third mini kit? Anyways, so that's why it's brighter is because it was a different recording and I should have just kept it darker until after I uh, did it. But anyways, I wanted it brighter so you guys might be able to see some stuff. Anyways, over here we got a berserker. So I try and piece everything together so you guys can kind of just see how everything looks together. Unfortunately, it doesn't all add up completely, but it doesn't look too bad. Why can't I jump on the stupid vines? There we go. Anyways, building this... Um, I kind of prefer the uh, going through the level quickly just so you guys can get a general idea of where it is opposed to, um, you know, the the just cutting to the place and trying to figure it out from there. Because sometimes I'm really quiet when I'm trying to get to that area. The cutting ahead, or the, the speeding through the entire thing is kind of nice. Anyways, um, 
I just decided to shoot an arrow on the wall there, evidently. Uh, that was kind of funny, though. Anyways, um, over there you can see there's a white glowing thing. And for some reason I thought it was blow up, just because it looks kind of like it's silver. But it's not. It's actually... Where is he? It's Gimli. Um, so you have to... If you don't have him on your circle, you have to go to the main thing. and um, You actually just need to stand there. You don't need to jump. For some reason, it doesn't even register if you jump and do it. It's kind of weird. Anyways, uh, in here we've got a treasure chest, or one of those mini kits. Um, and the other thing is we've got... Wow, that Aragorn surprised me. I thought it was the other Aragorn. The uh, Ranger Aragorn. Sorry about that. Um, anyways, we got one of these tracking things. Where is it leading us? What the heck? Okay. Why is it going all the way up there? Whatever. Anyways, right there we got some kind of torch thing? Bottle? Maybe it's a bottle. It was like a book and then a bottle. And then we dig up something here. And it is a quill pen. Oh, I get it. I get it. He was writing a book. Okay, that makes sense. Anyways, you can beat up stuff with a quill pen. I don't know how that works. Anyways, it's a book bottle, and then there's the third the third one of those plants. Anyways, in here there's a couple mini kits. Um, turn into a berserker, come over to these handles. Or one handle. It's only one handle. Anyways, and then there we go. There's our seventh mini kit. Um Wait, it'd probably actually be our eighth mini kit because I got that other one. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, and then I'm going to push this. Uh, something I decided to do is I wanted to show you guys what I did. Uh, but I'm, and then for the, the other one item. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see. Where's that? There we go. And then you want to just hit those three. They're like really tiny targets. I don't even know how elves are that good. But they are, evidently. Um, I do get 100% on this as well. Uh, it's kind of hard to know that because I go from like this one to another 100% thing. I got 100% before I, or after I went into the, okay. I got 100% the first time I went through to try and get all of the mini kits and stuff. This is the one item I was talking about. But then I, I, uh, I pressed uh, cancel and then I had 100% transferred over for the other part. So anyways, here, I'm doing it again. This is the second time I go through. I've already got it in my inventory stash. I just wanted to show you this what it looked like. I went through this. I was like, oh, maybe I don't have this in my inventory stash. I'll just get it again. So I get it, or I decide to get money from it or something, and then I put it in my stash, and it gives me a three of three. It's like, what the heck? I don't even have the... I'm like, okay, three of three. What the heck? Anyway, so fast forwarding here a little bit. Um, I'm just trying to figure out uh, where one of the mini kits might be. Anyways, we're gonna blow this up, and then we're gonna have Frodo build this because he's the only person that can build this out of the group. Come on, Frodo. Frodo. Frodo Baggins. There we go. Uh, he's got to go to the big pile of Lego bricks over in the corner here. There we go. Uh, anyways, he builds this, and what do we get? Whoa! It was really white there for a second. Anyways, um, you can actually crank this in Frodo land, if you want to call it that, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. The ring land, whatever. Um, you can crank it there, but I prefer not to. And Frodo is having a hard time fighting the temptation of the ring. I love this. It's a ring wraith that's getting uh, blown up with air, and then it pops eventually. Boom! You get a mini kit. Awesome. Uh, anyways, that's actually our 10th mini kit if you followed my walkthrough. And I'm sorry it says 9, but... That's accidentally how it happened. Um, I can't really change how it did happen. I can't. I mean, if I try and go back and do another, do the LP over again, I don't have enough time to try and do stuff, get enough people and whatnot. So I, I can't exactly do that. So I'm gonna just have to deal with it the way it is. And I hope you guys will forgive me because this is my first time, completely 100% completing this game. Um, for the, I mean, this is my first time even going through all this stuff. Trying to get every single mini kit. I mean, it's not my first time for all the levels. This level, it isn't my first time, but I mean, it's my second time, and in my second time, I'm not even all that good at trying to do stuff like this. So, um, yeah, it's kind of hard for me. Um, for some reason, no, you stupid ring wraith, get away! I'm trying to collect my coin. I hate this. I'm like trying to race him for the fire, and then he like blows it up. Somehow, yeah, like I said, they can blow up stuff. But anyways, um, I guess I did two cutscenes there. Uh, anyways. Um, this is actually the second run, so as you can tell, I got a 100% bar. Um, you have to get about 55,000, I think it is. Something close to that. Probably like more like 56, 57. I probably got killed enough times or something like that. Anyways, um... Ow. Ah, die, ring raids. Fire! There we go. 
I love fire. Fire is good. Anyways, um, I actually went through my third time, I think. I went through another time trying to complete it 100%, and somehow I lost a torch. It was weird. And so then I couldn't complete the game, or the level, because I lost the torch, so I had to press save and exit, and I was kind of like, shoot, that's weird. Anyways, there we go. I tried to piece this together just right so you guys could see this. I got 100% there. Um, the coin is kind of weird because it has like a weird glitch thing where it skips to going higher and brighter. Um, that's because I wanted to show you guys my actual stud total <laughs> when I got through it again. Um, here we go. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, okay, because we had one before. So th we had all 10 there. Um, the sun hat. If you see the little duck, it's down below the flower hat. That's where it would be, but for some reason, Mutro Music Boots, sweet. For some reason, I can't get the blinking duck. Mini kit, treasure items. I got a brick for treasure items. I think that's weird. It's totally foreign to me. Anyways, next time on LEGO Lord of the Rings, we'll be continuing on through the rest of the mini kit stuff. See you guys then.